Hello this is Jennifer Bailey and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the name servers of the domain name that you registered with GoDaddy as I demonstrated in a previous lecture. And you might be wondering what a name server is. Well it's basically the internet's equivalent of a phone book. So name servers make it possible for an internet visitor to access your website using a domain name, which is the name of your site, instead of having to remember a series of numbers, like phone numbers. So this makes finding websites much more easy and more accurate. The information that specifies which domain name matches which IP address is maintained in a directory by a name server. So when you set up a hosting account, as I mentioned in a previous video, you should have received an email from HostGator with your name server information on it. So I've got mine open here so I can show you the name server information. So here we go. Here are my name servers. So I need these two numbers and I need to put them into the name server information on my domain name. So what I suggest you do is make a note of those or you can copy and paste them across. Now if you ever lose your email, this one I'm showing you now from HostGator from when you set up your account, there is another location to find your name server information. So I've also got my HostGator control panel open. So if I scroll down the screen down here in the left panel, here we go, so here is my name server information. So you, if it's quicker to go into your control panel, you can get the information from there or from the email that you originally sent. So we go back to GoDaddy now. So I've already signed in with my into my GoDaddy account. So what you need to do is click on my account. and then come down to domains. Okay, so all my domains are here. And then I pick on the domain that I want to change the name server for. So if I select internetlessons.com, now they're already correct, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So I've clicked on the launch button. And as you can see here, the name servers are the same as on my email. But if you ever need to change them, you click Manage, and then you can edit the name servers by clicking on here. So if I click on Edit, I can actually go in and change the name servers to um, from the GoDaddy name servers to the HostGator ones. So I'm just going to cancel that now and come out. So that's basically it. That's all you have to do. Now you have to allow a couple of hours for the name servers to change. So if you're in a hurry, what I tend to do is when I buy a domain, I change the name servers straight away, even if I'm not planning on building my website for for another day or so. So then when I come back to do my website, the name servers are already changed and have taken time to take effect. So in summary now, at the end of this lecture, you should be able to change the name servers of your domain in order to get it to point to your web hosting. I'm Jennifer Bailey. Thank you for listening.